Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Boston Celtics. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. The Sixers are focused on winning titles. Coach Doc Rivers says, I'm a driven human being. I decided a while ago I no longer want to be in the party. I want to be the party. When you set yourself up that way, you're going to have a ton of disappointment. But it's the only way to go, as far as I'm concerned. Kevin? Well, they're in the hunt once again, D.A. Thanks. It's a battle of the bigs. Two fantastic centers, Clark, in this matchup tonight. <laughs> Some throwback basketball. Well, you know, there was a time, Kevin, when centers dominated the league. And as you said, tonight we're going to throw it back to those days. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's Smart in at the one. And for the 76ers, on the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Maxie out there with Harden. And it's Harris in at the three spot. Now, here's Maxi. Harris setting the pick for Maxi. And the rejection by Tatum. Smart against Harden. Smart passes to Horford. Left side, Brown. Horford with the screen on Maxi. Tatum's shot is off. And it's Harden with the ball for the 76ers. Harris outside. The 11-footer, and that one goes long. About one minute into the first quarter. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive abilities. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. The kick out to Brown. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Brown's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Celtics. Passes it to Tucker. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And he drops in the layup off the glass. You're right, defense, it's been terrific for him. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. And the pass to Embiid. Here's the three. Cranes the three-pointer. Well, you know, that's the kind of competitive spirit Embiid plays with. I mean, if you knock one down on him, he's looking for you the next trip down. Now, here's Brown. Tatum on the wing. Launches it. And again, Boston with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three. You fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. Lock at six. Puts one up from 19. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. He'll proclaim it himself to you if you're within earshot. Embiid's mid-range shot is the key that opens everything up for him. Tatum finds Brown. Smart with the ball. A three ball. Drills the three-pointer. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And it's Harden with the ball for the 76ers. Four-point game. Here's Embiid. The rebound by the Celtics. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Pass to Tatum. Back to Smart. Outside Tatum. From outside, off the mark. The 76ers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Maxi kicks to Harris. Pass to Embiid. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. 
It's on Robert Williams. Like to see him be finishing like that. Not afraid to get physical, not backing away from the contact while being fouled. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And another thing coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster after the trust the process here they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly he's perfect from the line this time well after their offense stalled in the finals the Celtics getting some veteran help Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor drops in the tray Tatum's got nine when Tatum is set up now, he's automatic. He wastes no time pulling the trick. The pass to Milton. Harrell was screen on Gallinari. Milton the pass to Harrell. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Here's Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Look at Tatum. Get up. I love whenever he goes up with that kind of aggression and force. He's not messing around at all. Taking names and making statements. Now, here's Milton. Now Embiid. Pass to Milton. From outside the arc, another three for Philadelphia. Intelligent ball movement that time from Embiid. Getting it to a guy with a better shot. Boston's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. And White kicks to Brockton. Williams a screen on Melton. And stolen by Harrell. And now Philadelphia on the break. Here's Milton. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Tatum no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to McDaniels. Beyond the arc. Great D that time from Tatum. The Celtics with the lead. Passes it to White. Launches a three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And now Philadelphia on the break. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. It's his first trip to the line. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84% on the season. Yeah, guys. I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams will make substitutions. That one misses, so he goes one for two. performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. 
puts the defense right up against him. Boston's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Hauser in at the small four. And guys, James Harden continues to be one of the most dominant offensive forces. Kevin, I don't think there's any question about it. No matter what city is on the front of his jersey, as long as Harden is on the back of it, you can expect the ball to go through the twine and for him to drop dimes, too. He's clearly one of the best scorers of this generation by far. The Celtics making a switch here. Pritchard's checked in. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. Harden outside. The pass to Harris. Harrell was screen on Brown. Williams with the block. The reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Harden's shot is good. Boston trail. Here's Pritchard. Got a piece of it. Smart with the ball. And it's Harden picking him up. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Here's Pritchard. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Clark, with the dramatic rise in three-point shooting, do you think the league will ever experiment with a four-point shot? I don't think so, Kevin. That's a bit gimmicky for me, but I'm somewhat old school and traditional. I think you could maybe test it out somewhere, maybe in the All-Star game or the G League. The league hasn't been shy about trying new things and seeing what works and what doesn't. And the first one drops. Embiid, he's checked in for Harold. And the Celtics also making a change. Tatum's checked in. falls so he hits both of them free throw shooting is about mechanics confidence and your mental approach he's locked in from there most every night has to Embiid kicks to Harris has to Tucker Embiid inside he's guarded by Williams yep that one goes Harden's got the lead up to four now for Philadelphia Nice physical play from Harden that time inside. Never afraid or backing away from the defense. Here's Pritchard. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. Hey, there's no denying the direction in Philly. They want to win now. The Sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now. And I like seeing that. Five on the clock. Here's Maxi. The rebound by the Celtics. All he needed right there was simply to set himself up and then relax and shoot the ball. 
he threw himself off balance for no reason. Tatum deciding where to go with it. They get a bet. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Tatum's got 13. Outstanding work on the glass by Tatum, and quickly he turns the rebound into points. Harden the pass to Harris. And beat inside. He's against Williams. Tucker. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And for the 76ers organization, the expectation is, of course, part a championship. And that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential MVP in Joel Embiid. I mean, he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row. I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. Al Harden, after Jason Tatum, missed on that last three-pointer. Harden is known for his creativity. Can't lose him in the screen and roll, or he'll take you to school. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. And the 76ers with some changes. Daniels is checked in for Harris. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Maxi, And it's Shake Milton in for James Harden. And then for Boston. Alinari, he's checked in for Williams. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Brown. And it's White in for Pritchard. On defense, Philadelphia. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Rodgen finds Tatum. That three off the mark. I'll tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Well, Shake Milton Clark is 6'5". Has a seven-foot wingspan. I mean, that is insane size for a guard. It sure is, Kevin. I mean, that's um, freakish length when you're only 6'5". And it allows Milton to guard positions one through four. And I think that's critical in today's NBA with all of the switching we see defensively. So Shake's effort level helps him on defense as well. It's the wingspan and the want to that make him a versatile defender. There's McDaniels. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Tatum kicks to Brogdon. 104 left here in the second. Out left to the wing. And they get it. That's good, and the 76ers' lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Al Horford. Horford grabs the ball and immediately gets into a shot. you got to prepare with your feet and then be ready with your hand. Now, here's Tucker. Five points in the game. Now, here's Milton. Shot clock at five. And Tatum pulls it down. White with it. Outside Tatum. 23 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Passes to Embiid. 
over Tatum. Drains the 19-footer. Embiid's got 11 points. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. With Sixers coach Doc Rivers, Doc, you've got to be pleased with the play of Joel Embiid so far. He's playing great. He's attacking early. He's making the right decisions. But overall, as a team, we're just nothing's quick. Everything's slow, and maybe it's their pressure. But we have to do something about it. We'll see if that adjustment gets made, Doc. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum, getting it done today. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And Greg, up and down this Celtics trust, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. And Boston has possession after the Sixers pick up two. Tatum passes to Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. The Celtics have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81 percent, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. So he hits both. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. For Philadelphia, they have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now.
And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Here's the pass to MB. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And that's 18 points for Joel Embiid. You know, every year Embiid seems to kick his scoring up just a notch. He, I think he realizes how dominant he can be. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. The 76ers leading by nine. Pass to Maxi. Embiid with a screen on Brown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Robert Williams. There aren't many players with a quicker first step than Tyrese Maxey. And I love the way he uses it to his advantage, Greg. I mean, he's got an athletic advantage over most of the guys that are defending him, and he'll exploit it every chance he gets. But that quick first step and fearlessness, lethal combination. And that one misses. And the 76ers with some changes. Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. And it's George Niang in for P.J. Tucker. And a change for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in. And he's good on the second. Celtics trail by 10. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Now, smart. After the miss three from Tyrese Maxey. Brown outside. Just five on the clock. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And he's got his first free throw of the game. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far. Sitting right around 76%. Free throw good from Brown. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. Celtics making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And Brown drops them both. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Harden looking it over. Looking for Harris. He gets it there. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. You know, sometimes it's that simple. Just get it up in the air and let Harris do the rest of the work. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. But it's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. Daniel House has checked in for the 76ers. Richard, he's checked in for Boston. And it's Maxi with the ball for Philadelphia. Harrell setting the pick for Maxi. Inside. And Harrell, the bucket on the assist by Maxi. Harrell's got the lead up to 12 now for the 76ers. Here's Pritchard. He dishes it to Brown. He kicks to Williams. Six to shoot. Smart. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Philadelphia leading by 12. Outside, Maxi. Knocks it loose. And a deep three from Harden. And no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. Brown with it, and it's Harden picking him up. Brown outside. 
Williams a screen on Hart. And it's Brown missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Well, certainly Clark, the 76ers, the past few seasons, have given their fans plenty to feel good about. Yeah, and you know, those Philly fans are really hard to please. They have great expectations and knowledge to go along with it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's been much easier to look on the bright side in Philly recently. The talent and results have been trending up in recent years. Harrell up top. Back to Maxi. Good work defensively by Smart. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. To the right side. Nice ball movement by Boston. Brown finds Smart. Williams a screen on Maxi. Brown outside. Good and Smart gets the assist. Brown's got it back down to single digits for the Celtics. You know, the three-point shot, guys, is something that Brown continues to improve upon. It's important for him to be knocking down these looks to expand his offensive repertoire. Smart passes to Brown. Brown jams it in! Brown, with that amazing athleticism, putting on a show out there with jams like that. Twenty nine seconds left in the third. Maxi looking it over. Pass to Harden. And the jam by Harden. Boy, the slam from the beer. Elevating a little bit. James can go from zero to 100 pretty quick for a guy this size. Brown inside the line. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touch by Brown. And so it's Philadelphia bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. On the floor for Boston. They've got Tatum. Gallinari is out there with Horford. Then it's White. And it's Brogdon in at the two-guard spot. Passes it to Embiid. Over Horford. Embiid, no good. Celtics trail by seven. And White kicks to Tatum. Brogdon outside. The tray. That shot is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's McDaniels. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Celtics on offense. Brogdon outside. Back to Tatum. Golinari has screen on Harris. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got eight rebounds in this game. And here is McDaniels. Melton with a screen on Horford. McDaniels kicks to Melton. Five to shoot. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Embiid, no good. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing it. But they don't want to chance that again. 
Tatum passes to Brogdon. From deep. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Brogdon's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Celtics. Now here's Milton. White covering. Fade away. And that one hits back iron. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Now, here's Brogdon from deep. Gallinari gets hauled in by Harris. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. To the inside, here's Embiid. The rebound by the Celtics. And White kicks to Brogdon. Melton against Gallinari. And there's the pass to Tatum. No good from outside. The 76ers leading by four. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Here's Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. It's White on the wing. And rejection by McDaniel. Now Milton. In the corner, it's Milton. Back to Milton. From past the arc. Good on the three-point shot. And the 76ers lead by seven. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Now a timeout called by Boston. Some changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for McDaniels. Maxey comes in for Milton. And it's James Harden in for Shake Milton. The Celtics also changing it up. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Gallinari. Jalen Brown comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Smart subbed in for Derek White. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's Harden. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Harden the pass to Embiid. Back to Harden. Embiid with a screen on smart. Harden, no good to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Smart against Harris. Smart kicks to Horford. Harden against Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. And Tatum has been in these situations before. He's reliable when it comes to stepping up in big moments. 
to the paint. Taken away by Williams. Embiid with the steal. And he gets it to go. You like Embiid's confidence and willingness to step up in the big moment. Picked by Horford. Up top, Tatum. Guarded by Harris. Tatum against Harris. Some solid defense from Harris. And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've held a 12-point lead early. Pass to Embiid. And again, Philadelphia turns it over. Harris against Tatum. Fires the three. Doesn't go that time. And Philadelphia the other way now. And so they foul intentionally. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. the first and that increases their lead to six if you want to know how clever Harden is as a player just take a look at his one-on-one -on -one game the way he can pretty much beat any defender quite impressive so he goes two for two at the lock and it's a seven point game since in an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it Tatum down low guarded by Harris Tatum down low. Harris is there. Here's Horford. And the three off target. Outside, Maxi. So the 76ers win it. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Hey, thanks very much, Joel. Quality night offensively. How do you evaluate your performance? Uh, efficiency wise I've been struggling a little bit lately so you know this game was about just letting the game come to me uh, and I felt like I did that my teammates found me we got through it we got the win that's the most important thing winning ugly is better than losing pretty right congrats thanks back to you thank you David great interview once again and that'll wrap it up folks for Greg Anthony Clark Kellogg and David Aldridge this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.